south side of the island, huh? I was just getting ready to head there myself. Perfect! We've got a date with an Everden! Wait, you mean the South Kamuna Everden? That place has kind of a notable history, you know. What, what kind of history? Something bizarre happened there years ago, right in the very depths of the den. Something bizarre? There was a big fuss about a huge monster showing up there. The village sent some riders to investigate, and... What did they find? In the low light, they could just make out a monster with pale white whiskers and shimmering blue eyes. White whiskers and blue eyes? The hulking, tanned creature was dancing around the den. A tanned monster? Did it dancing around the den? What kind of monster was this? White whiskers, blue eyes, nice tan? That sounds just like Chief Gara. Yeah, turns out that's what it was. Uh, huh? You've got to be kidding me. How could they mistake him for a monster? I know, right? Complete lack of respect. He just laughed it off. But the riders who'd hyped themselves up for a battle didn't find it so funny. That dance must have been pretty peculiar to fool everyone like that. Nobody had ever seen a human move like that before. He was more like a fanged beast. Whoops, now I'm starting to sound disrespectful. Anyway, how about we get going? Here's hoping we don't run into any actual monsters.
Ben. Mission.
Whew, we got away. Don't worry, we should be safe now. Basket of bitter bugs, what was that thing? I was expecting a dancer, not some kind of raging nightmare! Look, just calm down, I'll explain. That was an Anjanath. It's a fierce monster for sure, but it usually keeps its distance from humans. I have a feeling this is all connected somehow. We'd better head home and warn everyone. Sounds like a plan! Let's skedaddle! All oh, this stress isn't good for my heart! Naviru, wait! That's a dead end! Hey, who's the navigator here? You really think I wouldn't? Huh? Buddy! Are you seeing this too? A treasure chest? Looks like that shady Meelinx was telling the truth after all! Grab the bottle caps and let's get out of here!
Cruiser back. Hmm, is the North Kamuna investigation over already? <coughs> they don't look so hot. Something must have happened. Is everything all right? Kana, it's... <coughs> There's a monster running wild <coughs> in North Kamuna Forest. <coughs> You guys look like you're in pain. You sure you're okay? Uh, we got on the wrong end of the monster's venom. <coughs> venom? And we ran into an Anjanath on the south side of the island. An Anjanath? That's... Uh, uh, you'd better go tell Chief Gara. The village's safety comes first. If this monster in the forest is a threat, we'll go deal with it. Be careful. It won't go down easy. I know, but it could give us a clue about what's been going on lately. With Red and Guardian Ratha gone, we have to learn to protect ourselves now. Before we go, we'd better make sure we're prepared against poisoning. I recommend making a trip to the merchant and stocking up on antidote herbs. We can do this, partner! We were born for this!
I smell something. Over here!
you out of commission? Janath, are you sure? Yeah, it attacked us right out of the blue. I don't know if this is because of Guardian Ratha, but strange things are happening all over the island. Hmm. Without Guardian Ratha's influence, the monsters may be having a hard time restraining themselves. I thought so too. We should investigate the Guardian Ratha woods. That's where all this started. Hmm. 
Of course. You both have my permission to enter the Sacred Mountain. But make sure you're ready. Thank you.
These are sacred grounds. Your grandpa passed away, but his Rathalos came back. Besides Red, Guardian Ratha would never let anyone else ride him. I'm sure he's waiting for Red to come home. That's what Chief Gara always said. But this Red guy's not around anymore, right? So why...? The truth is, once a monster forms a bond with a rider, it never forgets them. Remember that strange light when Guardian Ratha left? Something must have happened then. Otherwise, Guardian Ratha would never have abandoned the island. Okay. Let's take a look around. Yeah, leave it to me! My nose knows there's something here! But this isn't red. Oh, of course. There's no way it could be. It's just those eyes look like reds. Red was one of our leaders. This is his grandkid. Huh? Red passed away a long time ago. I know. It's just I. I actually came to see Guardian Ratha. Red gave me something to bring back here. Something from Red? Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 what was that? Whoa. Something's coming! Over there! Guardian Ratha's dead? Well, why is it acting so weird? What's going on? This looks awfully bad, buddy! Please, take this. It's Red's old kinship stone. You might be able to use it to calm that monster down. Red's kinship stone? How come you have it? Red, he... wanted you to have it. Take it! Ready for this? Yeah, let's do it! Right on!
put you out of commission? Mission.
get you out of commission. I wonder if it was thanks to that kinship stone. Whoa! Oh. The kinship stone powered up! Hmm. Seems like this one works differently than the ones I know. My old partner's kinship stone powered up after purifying the Black Blight! The Black Blight? I've heard of that. There's no way it could have come back, right? Right. Whatever's going on here, it's something totally different. It makes my fur stand on end. But this could be something even worse. It's like Chief Gara said. Guardian Ratha leaving must have started all this. That's probably why the Anjanath lost control too. You okay, buddy? Just as I thought. You really are like Red. My name is Emma. Your grandfather and I were friends long ago. He saved my life. It's something I want to show you. Follow me. Huh? Wait up! It's a Rathalos egg, isn't it? I hid it here so the hunters wouldn't be able to find it. Mm. Smells nice and fresh. For sure a peppy little monster. But the scent is a little different from a regular Rathalos, though. Guardian Ratha gave this to me before he left. He wanted me to take care of it. That's what it seemed like. Wait, what? These strange happenings aren't confined to this island alone. Rathalos are disappearing from their natural habitats. Nobody knows where they're going. Monsters that are usually docile are acting aggressive. There are reports of people being attacked. That's terrible. So this is happening in other places too? That's right. The whole world is getting hysterical. And that's why I'm traveling around to find what's causing this catastrophe. What a mess. So when the ocean changed color and we saw that light, what was all that? Well, I don't know yet, but I think Red knew something. He spoke about an omen of disaster. A disaster? Ah, here you are. Huh? Chief Gara! Shh. Over here! I saw the riders go this way! They've got to be hiding that Rathalos somewhere. Find them! The Hunters believe we're harboring a dangerous monster. They won't stop until they've found what they're after. If they see this egg, we're gonna be in trouble! That egg... We should go to Ruto Village. The Hunters can't harm us there. Ruto Village? It's where I live. It's a Wyverian settlement. Humans aren't allowed in without permission. 
The hunters won't be able to follow us there. Come with me, please. I just know this Rathalos will help us once it hatches. You want to come too? What's the matter? Are you scared? There is nothing to fear. It's a big world out there. But Rathalos will guide you. It's no mere coincidence. You were given Red's kinship stone, and now a Rathalos egg. This is destiny. In Ruto village, you can hear the legend of Ray's wing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin. The hunters were talking about that, right? A Rathalos with the power to bring ruin to the world? So the legend goes. I have a feeling. It has a connection to the peculiar occurrences of late. All right. Leave the hunters to me. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. But it'll work out. I'm sure you've got what it takes to make it through this. Huh. You're my first student after all, right? You watch out for the newbie. Got that, Naviru? <laughs> Whatever you say, G. It's all us will do you proud. You have your grandpa's determined eyes. Take good care of his kinship stone. Go now. There's a boat at the bottom of the cliff you can use. Tsukino! I'm here. I need you to tail them. Mission accepted. Moon's blessing emerge.
is everything okay, buddy? How's the egg holding up? Oh. <laughs> it looks and smells nice and healthy. It's sure to become a claudacious Rathalos. I can't wait to meet the little guy. Yes, neither can I. Okay. <gasps> that kinship stone. Red? No. Of course not. This is one of Red's descendants. We met on Hakolo Island. If you just told me you were going to Hakolo Island. I've been worried sick, Anna. I thought you had been kidnapped, or even worse. Huh? What's going on? This guy's a friend of yours, Anna? Yes. He's from Ruto as well. My apologies for surprising you. I'm Alwyn. My duty is to keep our village secure. Well, it looks to me like we might have gotten off on the wrong paw, huh? I'm Naviru, and this is my buddy, a writer from Hakolo Island. Pleased to meet ya. I'll show you to the village. This way. Come. Let's go. Target spotted. The moon's blessing is with me.
grandfather. My apologies for worrying you, but... I spoke to Alwyn. What were you thinking, running off to Hakolo Island like that? I had to keep my promise to Red. He wanted his old kinship stone taken there. And you crossed the sea on your own, just for that? Elder, Zellert, this is the rider from Hakolo Island. Naviru and Best Buddy reporting for duty. Nice to meet you, Gramps. Hmm, so you are Red's grandchild. I do see the resemblance, I suppose. We all owe your grandfather a great debt. If there is anything we can do for you, by all means, ask. And where did you procure this? Guardian Ratha gave it to me. And then you brought it here? I had no choice. There are hunters after it. Please, let's keep the egg here, just until it hatches. Elder, could this egg be? Indeed. Descendant of Red, do you know of the right of channeling? I see. So you have come here without having completed the rite. <laughs> you are inexperienced as a rider and have nowhere near the power held by your grandfather. You would not be capable of forming a bond with the monster in this egg. What? What do you know of the Wings of Ruin? Legend speaks of Razewing Ratha, a monster so powerful it can bring ruin to the world with every beat of its wings. Some even say it was such a monster that laid waste to the village that once stood on this site. So you're saying that inside this egg... It matches the description of the egg in the legend. But... Hey! Quit yanking my tail! You don't seriously believe all that! You can't just decide the monster's gonna be evil before it's even born! I know, it doesn't exactly sound fair. However... Should this Rathalos hatch and awaken to its destructive power, you will be to blame for what happens. Are you prepared to take that risk? It's a rider's duty to protect the egg they've been entrusted with, no matter what kind of egg it may be. As a start, let's see if the human youth has what it takes to participate in the rite of channeling. Hmm. I confess, I am curious to see what the young one can accomplish with Red's kinship stone. Grandfather... Don't sweat it, buddy! You can do this! Come on, let's get this little guy hatched! the legend Grandfather spoke of really be true? Don't worry, Anna. It'll all work out. More importantly, we need to focus on learning about the right of channeling. Of course. The right will help prove to everyone you have what it takes to succeed. If Red could do it, I'm sure you can too. Here, you can use this room while you're here. It was Red's room years ago. Wow! My buddy's grandpa stayed here too? Yes. Red was the first human ever to visit Ruto Village. His coming here was our salvation too. Oh, right! Your gramps talked about owing Red big time for something he did. <laughs> I'll tell you that story later. For now, please try to get some rest. After that, go meet Alwyn at the stables.
These are our stables. Feel free to use them as you please. Let me know if there's anything you need help with. Hey, thanks! Uh, say, where can a feline get some donuts around here? Dough nuts? What are those? What? Don't kid around! This is important! We're talking about the greatest food in the world! I'm sorry, but I've never heard of them. They're a delectable treat fried in oil! They're sweet, shaped like a ring, and each bite is pure bliss! If you really don't know about donuts, how come you don't go nuts? Sweet, round, and fried in oil? It doesn't sound very healthy, to be honest. That's not the point. If you've really never heard of donuts, don't go nuts! I'm not sure what you mean. No, no, don't you get it? Donuts? Go nuts! I'm sorry, I still don't. Okay, I guess I should stop waiting for a laugh, huh? Oh, that was a joke? Sorry, I don't really get it. I see. Well, as you may have noticed, our village is made up of only Wyverians. Monster riding is all we've ever known. We only started exploring the outside world fairly recently. I guess we still have a lot to learn. Sounds like you're all in the same boat. My buddy here never left Tokolo Island until now. It's your first journey away from home? That can really take a lot out of you. You should get some rest. Paolumu appeared in the forest a little while back. Some of our riders were injured trying to escape. A Paolumu? But those fluff balls are adorable! How could they hurt anybody? True. Normally, they don't attack people at all. Let me guess. This one isn't normal. Indeed. This is the first time we've had to face such a threat. We'd like you to help investigate. Show us your skills as a rider. So soon? Is that wise? This should be a good experience. And what's more, the child has Red's kinship stone. This is a good chance for them to show if they are capable of taking part in the right of channeling. I agree with Zella. If you plan to form a bond with Arathalos, you must hone your skills as a rider. Well, when you put it that way, challenge accepted. We'll show you what we're made of. Wait a moment, Elder. They don't have the necessary experience. Hey, whose side are you on? We took down an Anginath and not just by a whisker. You're just proving my point. That overconfidence could be your undoing. Why, Yara? The safety of the village is my responsibility. I'd prefer it if... Relax, Alwyn. I see where you are going with this. You may accompany them. Thank you, sir. Every hand helps. 
Now that it's been decided, make your way to the forest. Sheesh! I still say we could have handled this on our own. Nonetheless, we'll do our best. Please be careful.
Thank you. This area has remained unchanged since ancient times. Many kinds of monsters live here, along with some rare species of insects. That said, a lot of them have been disappearing lately. So you think strange things are happening around here too? Let's hope not. There was much more wildlife around here in Red's time though. Oh, so that means you knew my buddy's grandpa too then, huh? Yes. Everybody talks about him like he was a celebrity. What was he really like? It's hard to put into words. I knew him almost his entire life. I have so many memories of him. Our village has long since been inhabited solely by Wyverians. Not everyone was happy about him being allowed to come and go as he pleased. However, he never let any of that bother him. He and Guardian Ratha just kept showing up again and again. He was always so open and friendly. He was freedom incarnate, a perfect match for the King of the Skies. An incredible man. Guess that runs in the family, huh, buddy? <laughs> Hold on. If you knew the old guy since he was a kid, how come you still look so young? The way that Wyverians and humans age
buddy. Now we're another step closer to the right of channeling. We couldn't have done it without you, Alwyn. You make a pretty decent teacher. You might even be better at it than me, and I'm never- Me? A teacher? You've got to be kidding. If you really want to become a better rider, you can learn more from the monsters than I could ever teach you. Monsters are much closer to nature than we are. They're in tune with the world around them. Understanding what a monster is trying to tell you is one of the most important skills you can develop. Well, that's certainly easier said than done. First, you must learn how to listen. Now, now I'm all confused. There's no rush. Just keep improving little by little. You'll see what I mean. Come, we need to report to the Elder. Now you're talking! Let's ride, buddy! See you are back. How was it? It was just like you said. I don't know why, but that Paolumu was going nuts. But don't worry, we made sure it won't be causing any more trouble. Well done. However, you still lack experience. You must work a lot harder if you plan to protect this egg. Well, jeez! Any other problems around here? Well, 
I'll solve them all. No big deal. Bring it on! Right, buddy? Some of our villagers have been reporting an increase in monster attacks on the Harzgai Rocky Hill. We suspect it to be the work of a monster camouflaging itself among the rocks and boulders. A monster that looks like a rock? Hmm. I feel like I've seen one of those before. So far, we've been unable to identify the creature. You'll go find out what it is. I'd like to accompany them on this quest as well. Of course. Go ahead. <laughs> 